Hello again. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick follow-up video to the last video regarding why I like this you know, dry fast, why I am dry fasting uh, for the stem cell regeneration. You know, it's kind of amazing to me that people will go spend $25,000, leave the country to do it, to, uh, you know, get one single stem cell injection. And usually you require three of them as a treatment. Um, when you could just not eat and drink for seven days and get your own stem cells because there's a lot more to it than that. You see, when you go out and have your stem cells uh, therapy, they try to match it to the donor with the receptors on the leukocytes. This is the, the, uh, the cell surface membrane so that you won't have those donor cells rejected. Well, that's all fine. It doesn't get rejected. Body lets it sit, sit inside of itself. That's fine. Problem is it's not genetically matched. It's a tissue match in a sense because it's of receptors on specific cells that are very similar to yours, but it's not a genetic match. So the cells may sit in you and they may work, they may not work. They also may not work well because if your genetics are designed to produce specific uh, tissue in your body, like blood typing, okay, they might not work well at all. So my suggestion is to just dry fast, do your stem cell regeneration because it's a perfect genetic match and it's happening inside your body. It's not being injected through the skin. It's not being, you know, an external growth of your own stem cells and then re-injected it. And the only thing that kind of sits with me is the fact that most of these therapies work for about a year. Well, if you're gonna drive faster, very regenerate your stem cells every year for free, you know, it seems to be a, a different thing, a better thing for my way of thinking. So my idea is, you know, we drive fast for all the definite benefits of detoxification and all these other good things that happen. But the stem cell regeneration is one of the primary things because if you want to live longer, you want to have tissue repaired. And you want to have your tissue repairing your tissue. Stem cells from inside of you are a perfect genetic match. Even if your sisters or your parents, it's like a 50% match. 100% perfect tissue match. That's why I like to dry fast. That's why I like to use dry fasting to regenerate my stem cells. Not to mention the fact, you know, stem cells can become senescent as well. They can be damaged and, and won't be able to be usable. So you want to regenerate your stem cells to have a stem cell population that's constantly being turned over and you have a brand new bunch of stem cells all the time that are ready to go next time you activate a body-wide, system-wide stem cell regeneration. That's why I dry fast for the stem cells, because they're mine. That's why you should too. You're dry fasting for your stem cells. It seems to be the logical way to do it. And it's for free. Just don't eat and don't drink for seven days. It turns on five days of repeating generations of stem cells as they replicate and replicate and replicate and you have this huge massive input of stem cells. Senescent cells are removed during stem cell regeneration. It's a wonderful thing, leaving spots for them to occupy. And uh, oftentimes your stem cells don't even differentiate into organ tissue. They just reside in the niches to pump out the paracrine signals to make sure that the adjacent cells are acting like brand new cells. It's the way to go. But I wanted to add that little bit of detail because when you think about these therapies and how expensive they are and how far away you have to go and you have no idea who the donor is, you're your own donor with a dry fast is a perfect genetic match. Yes? We have a message. Can you remind people to subscribe, please, sir? What now? Please. Oh, very well.